Hey, what's up, everybody? And uh, yeah, so Blitz Update came out, and I'm going to sit here and give every single one of my little thoughts on every single thing that was added for you guys to review and talk about because it's apparently very trendy to go and give your opinion on this update, especially this one. So I'm just going to go through everything uh, that's been added. Old maps getting added back. Yes, yes, yes. Literally, I had such a huge nostalgia blast, and like my brain melted. Okay, I, I went to that spot on Despair V2 where Hypixel died to Monster Lol in his montage. Epic. Okay, please do more of that. Add more maps. The new maps, I've only played Bastion, but from what I'm getting so far, the build team is really, really like capitalizing on the the, the medium of having a good map without like you know too many obstacles. But having the right amount of chests, not like on Alice, where a chest is literally every single step that you take. Um, really enjoyable. I haven't played the Teams one so far, so I'm going to have to see on that one. But, yeah, let's see. The kits. Oh, yeah, the ultimate kits. I love this concept because Phoenix, okay? Phoenix is the one that I latched onto so far, but I've decided that I'm going to get every single one of these to 10. I, I love the shit out of these kits. They're fun. Like, they, they're really fun. Donkey Tamer is, like, actually a gimmicky horse tamer. If, if you're tired of horse tamer and you, you want to play a kit that has gimmicks and isn't bland as ass, <laughs> you know, pun intended because donkey means ass, but um, just play donkey. Just play donkey tamer, dude. Donkey! Like Shrek! Donkey! You know? Like Shrek! It's donkey tamer. And then, Phoenix, you know, it's like the hybrid bow, flame bow thing. I haven't gotten that yet, but as you can see, I've got some progression going on. I've got 715 XP already, and I've only been playing for about, you know, five or six hours. Kind of fucking around, if anything. Then you've got Ranger, which, that's the one I have a problem with. It overshadows Archer a lot, because it gets power two and punch one, and it gets, I think, almost better armor. Then there is Warrior, which overshadows Baker and Hunter by a large margin but again you have to play these kits a lot to get the max so i think that you know the the turnout is is worth it you know and i i think that it's not too bad because a lot of people are too lazy to dedicate themselves to grinding the kits so that's one thing uh, especially since at lower levels you know it's pretty difficult to win games considering a lot of people are playing right now and they're playing competitively very competitively so pretty difficult to win but uh, that's what I like. I like it gives me a fresh new perspective on the game. You know, I have a lot of game sense, but how does that fare with getting, you know, like how, how many arrows? Six arrows, you know, and pretty mediocre armor. But yeah, all in all, kits 10 out of 10. I like them all. They seem really fun and unique, which is surprising because, you know, several updates uh, now, they've been adding these kits where it kind of seems like they're running out of ideas. Like Viking was the last straw for me. I was like, are you guys running out of ideas here? Like, what's going on? So it's glad that they finally, you know, they got back on their feet and they're like, you know, oh, yeah, let's or there, you know, Sir Hunt got back on his feet and he's like, all right, let's do this. Let's make good, unique kits with unique concepts. What I like most about it is while you're grinding XP, you can grind coins so you can get other kits while you're grinding for um, the 10. So you can literally like max like two 10s in the time you're grinding the XP and then get a third one right after. Like, it's awesome. So. The things that I, uh, oh yeah, kill counters, duh. Uh, so there are new kill counters, 25,000. I think that's a really nice mellow color, you know, for a first kill counter. I don't know if these two require any stats for prior to getting them. Then there's 75,000. A lot of people are praising these choices, which I do too. I think it was a really nice choice. Like I couldn't imagine any other colors that would be better right here. Um, then there's, you know, the standard bold and this, okay, Hunter, this isn't, a threat but you will regret it if you don't change this I talked to him about this already he's changing it to dark purple but if it's not changed by the end of this month I'm I don't know where you live but I I'll target you in blitz there you go that's that's what I'll do um, then there's 200k which uh, it's I don't know why I made that sound. I was taught. I guess it has a lag back from that. I hate this color, but that's fine. That's why I'm wearing this right now. Um, 200k, badass. I'm going for that right now. 
250,000. This is something that I don't understand. No one's ever going to hit this. So I don't understand why you added that. Like, no, no one's ever going to hit that. Literally. Not even me. I, I could play until I have 20,000 solo wins and, like, 10,000 team wins, and I'm still – I'm not going to have – I'm not going to have that. Like, I could have 30,000 total wins, and I'm not going to have anywhere near close to that. So, I don't know. I, I don't know why that was added. Uh, chaos mode, I don't like it. I only like it when I'm playing with friends. It's – it's basically just a congregation of hacking AP hunting retards. Um, so, like, if you go into the mode, it's just everyone is, like, you know, at least every second person you hit is cheating. It's pretty great. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but, you know, whatever. Um, it's fine, I guess. The only problem I have with it that's, like, super major is that it's kind of, you know, during the day it kills off the normal modes. And, I mean, I don't know why normal's coming back now, but, yeah. So, one thing that I don't like is, an or another thing I don't like, are the leaderboards. Uh, he totally destroyed them. I don't know what he was going for with this, but it's, like, totally ruined. It's counting your solo wins on this leaderboard until you log in and get a win, which is kind of tricky because look at team leaderboard now. Uh, last I checked, I was, uh, what, what place am I? 12th, yeah, I'm not 7th. I'm nowhere near 7th. Seventh, in fact, is like seven thousand wins on the on the leaderboard, so I'm nowhere near close. Uh, then you've got solo, which is, uh, um, I, I don't think you're tenth, Sir Hunt. I don't, mm -mm, nope. So that's uh, that was pretty annoying to see. Um, then you've got the kills. There are kills leaderboard that correspond with this now. Like I don't understand this. There, like no one is gonna care about these. I'm sorry. No one's going to competitively grind these. Like, no no one's going to give a shit. I, I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to be like... I, maybe teams, because everyone in teams has, like, a gigantic ego and they care a lot about leaderboards, but I don't think anyone in solo is going to particularly give a shit. Um, I certainly don't, and that says a lot considering, according to people, I have a pretty big ego. So, if it doesn't care to me, uh, it doesn't matter to me, it's not going to matter to the next guy. But, um, yeah, um... Pretty pretty grand update, all in all. I really like it. Uh, only have two issues, you know, the chaos mode and um, the leaderboard kill corresponding thing. It's weird. Oh, and the fact that wins is fucked up. But uh, oh, another thing, prestige two. I'm just gonna pretend like those don't exist. I don't like that Blitz is becoming a mode where it's so progressive you can't even imagine having more than two of one type of thing. You know. And it's not like with 10s years ago when Hypix was like, yeah, no one's going to get a 10. No one is going to get more than three Prestige 2s. No one. No one in the history of this game will ever do it. It's not going to happen. So, I I, I don't know. I'm just going to pretend like they don't exist. I, I don't like the concept of it. Prestige 1s, that's fine. Have a cosmetic little thing. Whatever. I did it for Creeper. That's fine, but Prestige 2s, I'm never going to buy one. I'm saying it right now. I kind of made up my mind. I've been conflicting about it, you know, over the past few hours. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I, I can't. I, can't, I don't care. Like, I genuinely don't. I win just fine with normal kits is my point, and I'd rather get 10s than spend 2.5 million coins getting uh, Prestige 1 and 2. Because the only class I have Prestige 1, if you check the stats, I don't, I don't have enough. I, yeah, that's nowhere near enough. 19, 16, 208? Like, no way. I'm, I'm not going to get that. But yeah, anyway, those are my thoughts on this update. Um, if you watched all the way through, make sure to comment. Comment what you think. Or, you know, um, just comment on the thread. I'm going to have Spillay post this to the forums. Um, or maybe I'm going to post it on... Uh, something, I don't know, I'm banned on disease riddled, whatever, uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts, all in all, I'm gonna give this update an 80%, 10 points off for chaos mode, 10 points off for, for prestige 2, I don't like the concepts of those, a lot of people are gonna probably argue the point to me about that, but I think prestige 2s are kind of a terrible concept, you know what, let me go into detail about that real quick before I end this off, Prestige 2s are terrible because one upgrade is total ass, and then the next one is, like, godlike tier awesomeness. 
You have Creeper that gets golden leggings after you upgrade it Prestige 2 in place of leather. And then you have Farmer. Like, I had to watch Tushare upgrade Prestige Farmer before my very eyes, and he was so distraught, dude. He was like, what? It's only 16 eggs and a chicken. No. He must have not looked at the slot or something before he bought it. That dude just got clipped out of 500,000 coins. Like, you, you've got to be kidding me, dude. Come on. I just think they could have done better. Like, Troll, Troll's Prestige to upgrade is literally Prot 1 on the chest plate to Prot 3. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, I'm totally going to wear a, a Prot 3 leather chest plate for my Prestige 2 kit over an iron chest plate Prot 1 from, like, Creeper 9. Like, do you see what I mean? You see what I mean? So, it's just a bad idea, you know, and everyone's just going to gather around one particular upgrade and it's just gonna be a shit show and it's just a bad idea it i don't like it but whatever you know what it's fine because all in all i think this update's pretty good and i think it's gonna bring the game back to life 10 points off for chaos mode pretty much just a reason for people to cheat and a reason for ap hunters to stick around and cheat because a lot of them cheat and um 10 points off for prestige 2 so 80 points to you sir hunt predator change the pink kill counter or uh I will, I don't know, you don't even play Blitz anymore, so, yeah, but anyway, see you around, guys.